how to pitch slash get money for a pilot well you have to uh it depends what you want to do if you're trying to pitch to a network uh you need a pitch bible if you're not familiar with that it is a <laughs> it is a booklet that you send photos of Jesus Christ to the network and try to remind them that Christianity is the dominant religion of society. No, I'm just kidding. Um, a pitch Bible is the, the book of everything that your show is about, your idea is about. So I would write like a synopsis of what my idea is about. Like I'll give a vague description of what mine is. It's like, oh, boy, girl, this name, they're a duo, they have powers and they do X, Y, Z with powers to accomplish X, Y, Z goals. You then draw pictures of, so this book should include pictures of your characters that uh, you, that are about it. And they don't have to be like super clean drawings. Like they could literally be like, I've seen people pitch things, oh God, with characters that sometimes look like this. Like literally stick characters like that <laughs> I've seen oh no I deleted it all undo okay <laughs> I've seen people pitch stuff like that if you want. I've seen people pitch stuff without any doodles at all I just realized you cannot see those doodles you will also include like a log line so like a summary of like what I said earlier like so you're gonna write it out what your your story is about um if it's like a fantasy world you will give them a little description of what your world is like if it's like a little complex you will uh, draw interactions with characters like their dynamics like if you have two main characters like with their personalities being different, what makes them different and how does that, how do they uh, interact with one another? Like what makes them interest, uh, interesting dynamic? So it's like all of these informational things that get this idea across to the executives that you'll be pitching to. Siggy says, what is the difference between a pitch Bible and a show Bible? I've never, is there a difference? I've only ever heard someone say pitch Bible. What did, what did, what did, who, what context have you heard someone use show Bible? Whenever I help launch a series, we refer to it as a show Bible, maybe because it's in full production at that point. That is probably the case. Honestly, I would say that's probably the difference. Cause if you're on the other end and you're getting a show Bible, cause here's the thing, when you, cru when you finish a pitch Bible, they will have, um, you redo the Bible uh, as a whole show of like what it is. Um, and, and maybe multiple times, because I had my pitch Bible that I pitched to executives, and then I had to redo it after I made an animatic, uh, or not animatic, sorry, storyboards of the pilot itself. My hand keeps getting cut off. My beautiful Italian hand gestures are not making it into the screen. Part of my identity. Uh, so we get the pitch Bible 2.0, call it the show Bible. Yeah, 2.0, 3.0. Like I said, I, you come in with your pitch Bible, pitch it to some executives, and if they like it, they'll say they'll start production. So then you start the, the process. So you start, you make some storyboards. I don't like that size brush. You start some storyboards and they will help you cut whatever f like stuff from the story that you weren't sure. Generally, they usually just like let you do, at least this is the process that it was at Cartoon Network at the time. Different studios processes will change, but usually it always starts with a pitch Bible. Always starts with a pitch Bible. So do the boards, 
And then you'll eventually go to a process where you will pitch it on a big projector in a boardroom. There is you pitching your idea. Here is a big ass table. Here is the vice president of the company who I had to pitch. And then there's some other network executives all sitting here. And then at least at Cartoon Network, they had like these big, big ass windows. They were inside the windows though. They weren't like outside. Rip to this building that you'll pitch your storyboards by talking. You'll do the character voices yourself and whatnot. And you'll flip through it like on a PDF, not like an animatic. Anyone in the studio can come watch. And even if people you don't even know, they'll make like an announcement to come down if you want to squeeze everybody into this little boardroom. Yeah, you'll pitch it with your, with your mouth and hope that they like your pitch. Uh, you will go over uh, with, so I'd say this is Pitch Bible 1.0. And when you pitch them this point, you also will have Pitch Bible 2.0 because you probably would have reworked story stuff up here with an executive. So you also will rework the Pitch Bible along with this just to make things simple if your idea is a little too complicated. Like my idea was very high, con what I call high concept. High concept is like, it's an idea with like an expansive world on top of it. Or they sometimes they call it high fantasy if it's like a fantasy story. So I guess you could say like mine, is, mine was like high fantasy kind of thing. Uh, I was like characters with powers. So when someone, when someone gets that pitch, it's kind of like, okay, I'm not only going to have like characters, but there's going to be way more to it on top of that. Cause like you'd have a show that's like, you know, it's just some dudes hanging out like Beavis and Butthead or something like that's not high fantasy. <laughs> that's just grounded, normal reality. And this is like, my idea was like high fantasy and kind of complicated, or at least on the surface, it seemed complicated. My story was actually very simple, but it seemed complicated because I had to create a whole world behind it. And so when I pitched it, they're like, okay, this is really cool. Now let's take the stuff from your pitch Bible that we don't need to talk about and let's focus on the things that do matter. So that way it's simple. Because the executives that you pitch it to to get picked up are not gonna be the executives that are gonna green light it at, at when you do your pitch. These are gonna be like the vice president and, and production executives. So you just walk up to an executive and go, please give me money for a story, It'll, it will make you money. I guess I'm always on the some contracted studio end. I don't know how I would even get to show Bible or Animac in front of people. In your experience, are the executives you work with at the beginning eager to help you? Okay, so the first thing is, in my situation, um, if you work for a studio, generally they're totally cool with anybody in the studio that works there. At least if you're on the art side, creative side, I don't know if they'll let the janitor do it. But you can make a meeting with them, and at least at Cartoon Network, you make a meeting with them and you just pitch an idea. And they're like, too, they're super, super chill about it. So when I first started working at Cartoon Network, I actually pitched this idea I had in like 20, late 2016. And I pitched it to some executives, like these two executives, and they really liked it. Uh, and I found out through the grapevine when the two executives were going to say no to my idea because they felt it was too high concept and too complicated. You could say that these two executives are kind of like the, the pitch executives, like the initial pitch executives. They get the, they get your stuff and it's up to them to if they want to move it to one of those two other departments. And so they were going to say no, but then the executive in charge of the action comedy came in and was like, what are you guys looking at? And he looked over my pitch and he just goes, oh, did, did Andre make this? Oh, I love his stuff on Ben 10. Like, oh, you guys got it. You guys got to pick this up. This looks super cool. I got very lucky that he came in and I had a rapport with him already. And we weren't like super close. He just really liked my boards and just pushed them for it. So sometimes, you know, it's luck. I got very fortunate. My And I didn't expect my idea to get picked up. I was just like, I just started working in the industry. I'm green. I only have a year of experience. And why would they even give me like a, a chance? <laughs> so I was very surprised that happened. Uh, otherwise, they probably would have said no, and I would have never been there. It's not always the case that that happens, unfortunately. And then those two executives actually ended up leaving the company like two months after. So my project got put on hold for a bit, which I was worried that maybe it would just get canned when the new executives replacing them. Those two executives would have ended up working with me on my project after that if it did get pushed forward. But I ended up getting a new executive, and she's super cool. I love her. 
and she loved my idea and she saw the the potential in it that's when we went to the the second phase this um one right here i'll just write 2p the second phase and this is the first phase i got into the second phase and she came in she really liked it so she helped at least at card network a lot of the executives they didn't like want to make you change a lot of stuff they just they would ask you a lot of questions because they've done this before and the questions they'd ask you would kind of help you discover things you're missing or you should be cutting and I don't think they ask these questions because like looking back, I don't think these questions that are asked are asked to get you to what get to you what they want you to do. I think they're just questions that you're just never going to think about until you're talking to a, a new person. And the people who have that experience know that these questions aren't going to make your project what they want. It's going to make your project more of what you want because you're thinking about it.